Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Tartar, and in this video I want to help you out with Gold Bullion and Treasury Notes. If you don't know what the Gold Bullion is, it's a new currency and you can find it in stats under collections, there is a Gold Bullion. If you don't have any and you have no idea what the Gold Bullion is, you probably should start playing the game and progressing one of the main quest lines. To avoid spoilers, I will tell you just one thing. The gold bullion is related to Vault 79 and there is a quest related to Vault 79 and after you finish this quest you will have access to gold bullion. I don't want to spoiler anything, then I will not say anything more about that, then just feel free to jump into your game, push the quest line, get up to the Vault 79, you will unlock it. If you already unlock it, then now I want to explain some more stuff. Uh, there is something like treasury notes. Not everyone understands what this stuff is doing. Uh, if you go into your miscellaneous, scroll down, there is something like treasury note. That's a treasury note. By itself, this note doesn't do anything. You cannot use it for anything else. You can only buy gold bullion with that. And where you do it, I will show you it now. There is daily limit for gold bullion. And you can buy it like in this case I'm at the crater, Raider's base, and if I go inside to the crater core, I run straight, then turn a little bit to the left, and this is new this new vending machine, it says gold. If you activate it, you can trade your treasury notes for the gold. You can see 200 gold available for me. I will trade it now. I do not choose 25, you just reduce it to 20 because one treasure note is worth as it says 10 bullion and I trade in 20 and I'm getting my gold up by 200 and there is zero right now and there will be gold again after 20 hours from the time you do the trade then I can do it again after 20 hours there is my 200 daily gold I can get and back to those treasure notes. You will ask how you can get those treasure notes. And there is two main ways of earning your treasure notes. First, whenever you see on the map event mark like this one, it is called public event. You can recognize it as well because fast travel will be for free. And the marker is much bigger than any other event. Then this is the marker you are looking for. You want to do those events, all those events have a chance to give you a treasury notes at the end. The amount of treasury notes is random. Uh, usually I'm getting two. The most common for me is two treasury notes. Sometimes I'm getting three treasury notes. Uh, once happened to me that I didn't get any treasury notes, but I don't know if it's intended or if this is a bug, but you can expect on average two treasury notes per event. Apart from that, there are dailies for both factions, for settlers and raiders. If you will be doing those dailies, each of those dailies will give you free treasury notes. You can do it only once per day for each faction, then you will earn six treasury notes just by doing your dailies. I have it already done, this is one example. Retirement plan is one of the dailies for raiders. Now, apart from that, what I already said, you can earn more gold bullion once per week from Wayward. If you go to the Wayward, you can earn more gold bullion. Exactly, you can buy it with caps. It's what Bethesda said before. It's the way to buy it with caps. I will show you exactly where. Fast travel there night. Now, here we are. The Wayward. Let's head inside. Now, when you are inside, just go in here, ignore those guys downstairs, and go upstairs. And here is your guy, Smiley. If you interact with him, you, he does not have a trade option. As you can see, this guy will be selling you gold bullion for your caps. And price is 1000 caps per 50 gold bullion. In my case, it's on the red because I already bought 300. And 300 is his weekly limit. This will reset every Monday. And in my opinion, it's really worth it. Then I went trade in here as soon as I figure out this guy is selling gold bullion at about 300 for this week. 
Oh, and now as you can see, I just finished a Strangler Heart event and I earn my free treasure notes. Even if you will not see on list of the rewards, it's usually there. If you see the pop up like a legendary item when you pick it up with a treasure notes, it means that you earn your treasure notes. And one important information, there is no limit on how many treasure notes you can earn. Then if you have more time during the weekend, you can earn like a hundred of treasure notes and then just keep trading in daily during the week when you cannot play. Just log in and trade your treasure notes for a gold bullion. I hope I answer here most of your questions, guys. If not, then yeah, just let's go to the comments section. And as usually, I will try to answer on as many additional questions as I can. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.